Hey, Scott here, and I'm back with more drawing, and Knight's still here. What's up? Yo. Um, Alright, so we're going to try and finish up my persona thing today. Um, and in the background, which... Um, no, in the background is uh, another song by uh, Knight. Um, it's uh, one on a persona song. I forget the exact name of the song, but it's great. Uh, I forgot even the name of the sample. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, so... Um, did I even name this? Did, did I name this beat? I don't... I don't... I can't hear it. I, mm -hmm. This is all post stuff he's talking about, so I... Mm -hmm. I don't even remember what this sounds like. Yeah. I don't remember what I did to make it. I don't remember what this sounds like. Mm -hmm. Nah, it's great, That's... so... Yeah, but, um... I've already taken the liberty of... Last time we uh, filled in a bunch of color stuff to prep for actual coloring. Um, one thing I didn't do, we had to fill in behind the characters so we could... Wait, I did it wrong. Never mind. I didn't do it right. I can show you how I did it right now. So we, 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 we filled in the regular background, right? Which is the this one. And then... We have this layer, which is prepping for, I'll show you, when we do, all right, it's back. Um, okay, no, um, so we have this first layer, which is the color around the characters. Then we have to fill in inside of it on a new layer. So now when we put back on the outlines, we can just fill in the color with a paint bucket. And it fills it in pretty aight ish. Um, I'll go into more detail as we're actually doing it. But, uh, so we have this sketch, we have this. Okay, so colors for Tracy. Um, I want to make her hair purplish, so. And we never really want to go too far to the edges, is a thing that I saw someone say in a video once um because those those colors look a bit too basic ish I'm not sure um that was definitely a thing i heard once um that's weird yeah so let's zoom in a little bit and let's fill that in except let's not do that yet i lied to you we want to bring the colors below the sketch so when we do this it doesn't go outside the lines and stuff so we can fill in the rest of this and we'll have a little extra coloring to do but it fills in most of it so that's good um, then we'll get our pen and we'll zoom in some more then we can just go fill in the edges because it doesn't really know how to do edges too well so we can fill those in. I actually used um, Paint Tool Sci recently for a little school project, and it's supposed to be it's supposed to be like a better art program, and I'm sure it is, but I just didn't like using it. Um, I'm not sure what exactly it was. I guess just cause, since I'm so used to using fire alpaca you have to do a lot of different things in that from this so like like the yeah like the way i'm filling in the colors here um you have a completely different way you do it there like you have to get this magic wand tool and you have to select the entire picture i don't know it was weird and i did not like it um i don't know you ever have like a music program that does that that you felt like that yeah, way. I was just gonna talk about. Uh, so, basically, I run, I do all of my music at a FL Studio, um, and it's a good program. I mean, when I say good program, I mean Metro. You don't know who that is, but Metro Boomin uses FL Studio. Oh, I know this him. stuff. You know, he made, he made my favorite song. Is <laughs> overdub. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um. <laughs> Um, pretty much, uh, Metro Boomin uses that, and he's, you know, a number one big name producer. Um, and he, uh, hold up. 
Okay, so Metro Boomin uses FL Studio, which means, you know, it's a professional level program. Yeah. Um, but I, so that's why I learned to do everything out of, and I want to switch eventually to Ableton, which is a, a different program that more people use. Uh, it runs better, it, more tool, like outside, outside sources uh, use Ableton. Um, and I'm trying to force myself to switch over, but it's just hard to do. Mm -hmm. Just because you get, you get used to one using one program for so long, just using anything else is just extra. Yeah. Uh, and don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with it. I mean, switching from one DAW shouldn't be that shouldn't one program to another shouldn't be that hard because they do the same thing. But just you have to relearn like the little oh. nits and grits of things. So mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. So we both said so. Um, oh, good. Yeah. Um, see, I've heard about a little bit about a Ableton. I mean, I watch Andrew Huang, and I think he uses that, right? Yeah, the he runs everything through Ableton. Um, that, that's one of the reasons I want to switch, uh, just because to put it really well, it's more complex than this. Way more complex than this, but uh. The hip hop community uses FL Studio, but the EDM com community uses Ableton. Mm -hmm. um, but that's not true at all, and that total sentence is completely false because everyone uses every DAW. Um, but uh, Huang makes a lot more innovative stuff, innovative and comp. Oh, oh, you're cutting out a little. And that, that's why I want to switch to Ableton, really. Mm -hmm. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so yeah, Huang uses a lot more, does a lot more complex stuff, and that's really wanna, why I want to switch to Ableton. Because musically, I want to get more complex. You can't um, FL Studio. You can do everything you can in Ableton, but you have to kind of cheat, I guess. Cheat. I, I don't want to call it cheating, but it's kind of cheating, where you have to jump through a hoop to get it done. So, I. For example, changing time signatures, you can't really do that in FL Studio. There's there's a way you can, but I haven't figured out a way to do it. Um, but when you look up how to do it and stuff, no one really tells you how. It's it's kind of funny with it, because hip-hop hip -hop is really complex, don't get me wrong. But you have to kind of just know, I guess. Uh, with FL Studio, with Ableton, you can get a lot more in depth with what you do, you know, uh, music theory wise. FL Studio, you really don't need to know too much theory for it. But I just have to force myself to switch. So, but it is whatever. I'll eventually do it. Eventually. Well, then again, when I go to college, they're going to make me switch again. So why even switch one time? Well, mm -hmm. Who knows? Who oh, knows? Man. Who cares? We got to, like, currently in the time frame we're like we're pretty much children like we gotta we gotta go to college soon oh yeah yeah that's that's well, a bit scary yeah yeah Didn't, oops oh well that's edit yeah um but now uh, yeah so uh, yeah college luckily we both got into where we wanted to go not that i'll disclose that because you know we're mysterious and nobody nobody knows nobody no, nobody knows. What do you call? I watch a YouTuber who goes uh, to, you know, talks about where he goes and stuff. Mm -hmm. He's pretty open about it. It's pretty interesting. Mm -hmm. Oh man. Yeah. So. Whew. So yeah. what are you doing right now exactly? So I saw you edit in all these colors. Yeah. So. Really, I'm sort of just taking all this off the top of my head, like, you know, I have purple in the hair, so let's make the bigger part of the clothing sort of like a darkish -er purple, and then I like blue, so let's put in some blue, and then uh, the pretty much major color of Persona 5 is red, which is kind of funny now that I look back on it, like, Persona 3 has blue, Persona 4 has yellow, Persona 5 has red, it's the primary colors, man. Uh, oh, theory, fan theory. What? Do, 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 but, oh, yeah. The thing here. Yeah. 
the X Files thing. Mm -hmm. I have to teach you how to edit sound. Yeah, that's important. Ed editing sound is is important. Psh, who mm -hmm. edits sound? I say is so just the rest of the video cuts what out. What editing program? Huh? What editing program do you use? What editing program do you use? Um. Well, what I'm actually editing stuff, I use. I think it's Adobe Premiere Pro. Um. Okay. Yeah, and then. So you, okay. For, let me put a little highlight in the eye. Oh no, that's uh, that's a little too much. Let's just just do a little dab. There we go. Um, but most of the time, I don't really, I don't really edit my videos. Um, maybe that's not really something much to be saying, but you know, it's it's fine. My my videos are great. Okay, Direwolf, Direwolf is open about how he just doesn't edit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh, everything's gotten out again. Oh boy. How he does it, but um, he can just hit pause. Mm hmm. Oh yeah. So yeah. uh, they see. So like when he wants to stop, he just pauses it and then comes back. Yeah. I mean, I can kind of do that because I use OBS to record all my stuff. Um. But then I have to edit all of the clips together because I can't just hit pause. I can just. All I can really do is, um... You stop it and then edit it all together. Yeah. Which admittedly doesn't take that long. Yeah. Like, it's not... It's just extra work. Mm-hmm. Then, it, But you really don't have to do stuff where you have to pause it. You know? You know yeah. When you, when you... When you, you know... When you do Minecraft videos, um... <laughs> you gotta... You, you gotta, uh... What do you call... There, there's long periods of time where you're just doing, not nothing, but something so tedious and menial. It's, is that a word, menial? Hold on, menial. That is a word. Yeah. yeah. I. Ha. Ha. You can tell I don't read books. Who reads? Um, uh. Yeah, it's just. What were you we talking about? Hold up, I'm too busy thinking about reading books. <laughs> Um, what? Edited. Oh yeah, it's, yeah. It's just, it's just extra work. Or you don't want to, you know, record yourself digging a straight line. Yeah. Digging a straight line for hours. Yeah. Gosh. Oh my gosh. The amount of time I spent in Minecraft digging a straight line. Good God. <laughs> uh the getting nom flashbacks. <laughs> for digging a straight line, like, do do you remember those days where you'd stay up to like two in the morning? Well, I mean, or, well, when we would, or I would, you didn't do that. I would, okay, when we played Minecraft together on servers and stuff, I would stay up to like two o'clock in the morning, just listening to like, I play an album, right, <laughs> and then I get in a hole and just dig. Well, I think you forget, but. I have a series of me oh, that's right. <laughs> completing air quotes around that Minecraft. Um, that Did you was... actually finish it? Did you actually <laughs> absolutely Did you not get all the wool? No. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> you know, I was just like, you know what? I'm bored. Let's stop playing. <laughs> um. <laughs> yeah, My Minecraft is a hard game to play. It requires a lot of patience. Yeah. There's a. Nope. Oh, another cutout. Oh boy. Hello. Oh Hello. man. I'm here. Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, yeah. Just cut out for a second. Yep. Ooh. Ooh. That eye is so... looking poopy. Oh. Oh yeah. Ooh. 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 I remember the first pictures we drew. Mm -hmm. I say we, when I mean we, I mean you, because I, I drew for a little bit, and then realized my hands were not meant to do that. <laughs> uh, you know, one of these days, yeah. we're going to have an episode where, like, you're drawing, and then I make a track for the background. And it's all going to be maybe a little poopy, but you know, it's fine. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Oh, it's gonna be so bad. Yeah. 
Nah, it's gonna be great, man. Don't even worry about it. <laughs> oh, man. Because you don't know anything about theory. And you're probably gonna put new two notes that are close together. And then you're gonna get... You're gonna get... That sound, and then I'll die. <laughs> I'll actually just die. Yeah, and then you'll be like... It actually isn't really that hard, so you'll probably be fine. <laughs> hey, he's got earrings. Yeah. I have earrings. Yes, you do. Yes. Yeah. That's a, yeah. That was a weird experience. Not mm -hmm. really. I like my earrings. Mm-hmm. Let's tell the story of the time I got my ears pierced. Uh, All right. Yeah. So, me being a little nervous kid... I go in the I go in the the the, the tattoo parlor, right? And mm -hmm. uh, I go in and everybody's getting tattoos. And I'm kind of scared to death, right? <laughs> I go in and I talk to the guy. This is a really short story. I go mm -hmm. in and I talk to the guy, and he looks at me, and uh, he's like, you, you know, blah blah blah, this medical stuff, blah blah blah. I say that casually, like it's nothing. Uh, but uh, so he talks to me. He looks at me. He takes a little little marker. Okay ever get your ears pierced go to an actual place where they get a needle and do it don't oh, no. ever go to yeah don't ever go to the place where they get the, where they just get a gun and do it oh, if you, oh no or the, the the little piercing gun is terrible oh. i haven't got it done myself but i know people who get it done with a piercing gun when it gets done with a piercing gun it stinks and it's gross and it hurts way way more than it should and just just get it done with a needle by a professional. It oh. looks better and comes out better. Actually, um, I think my... Oh, that's right, you're queasy. Huh? That's right, you're queasy. Yeah. I don't... I don't do too well. Just... Really just around needles, actually. Um... So, I mean, if, if I were to get my ears pierced, which... I mean, probably wouldn't. I don't know. <laughs> it's not for everybody. Yeah. Oh. I wanted to get my ears pierced since I was a little kid. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, but no, I would probably do better with the gun, just cause I can't, I can't do needles. I get super you nervous. Can't see it. Well, yeah, but like, it's just the fact they're like, here, you can d stab me for just a little bit. It's fine. You can do it. It's it's good. You know. But it's, it's not even like that bad. <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm, I'm not good with that stuff. Anyway. Yeah. It's uh, uh. For real though, you don't even you you don't like needles, and you're really not the type of person to get your ears pierced, so you don't even have to worry about it. Yeah. To the rest of the world, go to the place that gets uh, that gets a um that gives you the needle and does it because the gun is gross. The gun is really gross. Anyway, so I, I he looks at me, he looks at me dead in the face, right? And he looks at me, he looks at my ears, and he takes a little marker and draws little dots. On my earlobes, right? Mm -hmm. Draws little dots on my earlobes. Oh, that's uh, a. That's and then a he takes petty. it. He takes takes a step back, looks at it again, draws a little, little uh, erase it, and draws another dot on my earlobes. Apparently, I have my earlobes are uneven. Hmm. I didn't think that was possible. My earlobes are asymmetrical. Hmm. You can't really tell unless you put dots on it. Ah. Like when you look at me with the earrings, you really can't tell, you know. But yeah, nah. Uh, uh, yeah, but he, so, and then I, I lay in the, um, I lay in, uh, what do you call it? I lay down on the table, because they have a little, like, a, like, a doctor's chair in the back, because, you know, people get piercings all over the body. Uh. Yeah. Uh, I lay in the, um, lay in the chair, and then he takes it, and he does the first one, right? And it's the weirdest feeling ever. Oh. It's so weird, because, like. You would think you wouldn't hear it, but you do. Oh. It's a popping oh. sound. Oh. Like pop. <laughs> oh, so, no. You hear this, you hear a little popping sound as the needle pushes through your earlobe. And oh. It's like, it pops like three times, right? And then he pulls it out, and then uh, he gives you a little uh, little cloth or whatever, and you, he says, press it on here, right? And then he flips you over to the other side, uh, flips, and he flipped me over to the other side and did it again. Well, the second ear hurt way more than the first ear. It doesn't hurt that bad. Don't get me wrong. Like, it's... I don't know. 
you're queasy, so everything hurts really bad. But yeah. Like, well, I, I if you've ever, say, I wouldn't say that that's necessarily what's happening there. Um, is more so just like I don't like pain. I can handle it. Like I had this, not to go off my own little story, but just for like a second. Um, I had this time where the only the only bone I've ever broken in my body, um, my pinky. Uh, I remember that. that. Yeah, that's a whole nother story, but I had to get it set twice, right? Um, and both times they were like, here, let me give you like 15 shots to just numb your hand. And then we're just going to move it around. So they're giving me the shots and I'm already like super scared of shots. And so I'm like, yep, this hurts so much. This just hurts. This hurts a lot. And that's all I did. Like, it wasn't necessarily that... I couldn't handle that pain. I just didn't like the fact that pain was happening. Um, yeah, but go ahead and go on. Anyway, so like, it only hurts as bad, like, it hurts a little bit more. Although, like, the, what, the only thing I can really equate it to is like getting a shot. Mm-hmm. Like that's that's it. But the second one hurts like getting getting your blood drawn. I know you're getting. Oh, I'm cutting out. But like, yeah. If you get it done a couple times in a really short amount of time, it'll hurt really really bad. That you don't know what that feels like, but someone else might. I have another story after that. The time I almost passed out when I was I was donating blood. Oh, that oh. was fun. That was fun. Were you there? Uh, Were you I there don't... for that? No, you weren't. No, no, you weren't. You stay away from that stuff. Yeah. Um. But uh, yeah, and then you know, we took it off and they put the put the earrings in and voila, I have earrings now. And then I spent the next like month or so. You gotta really be really vigilant about keeping those things clean because last thing anyone wants is for you to waste your money on getting your ears pierced and having to take your earrings out so your hole can close back up because it got infected because that's what an earring is at the end of the day it's an open wound that's like tattoos too mm -hmm. it's just an open wound you walk around with well that's certainly something <laughs> <laughs> yeah no uh, yeah I'll tell this story about a uh, me almost passing out at the eye doctor, not the eye doctor. Um, passing out when I get my blood drawn another time. Donate blood. Every, like, if you're not queasy, donate blood. Be a good human and do that. Yeah. It, yeah. Like, is it, you're, you're kind of queasy, aren't you? So I, don't, don't donate blood if you're queasy because then you throw up and then it's just a problem. Yeah, no, again. But if you're not queasy. No, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, like you said, it's, it's not about really, like, being queasy. You just don't like the idea. Like, whatever. Just, if it's not for you, stay away from it. Yeah, yeah. But if you just don't feel like donating blood because you don't want to do donate blood, like, you just... It's not even an inconvenience because you get food afterwards. Uh, but donate blood. Be a good person to do that. Not, not to spread my own, my own rhetoric and propaganda. Of, you know, peace, love, and happiness. You know, the hipster. Yeah, yeah. Propaganda. But, you know, it's just don't blood. It's yeah. it. It's, you get cookies. Yeah, just do it. It's, you're, be, be a good person for humanity. But yeah, the way I say yeah. it is if I donate blood now, karma will have blood for me in the future if I were to ever need it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's a good way to think of it. Yeah. Because when I donate blood, I think... I think they recommend you to donate it Every, I don't know. There's a period of there's amount of time in between. I think maybe there's not. I don't know. But they recommend you do it. Well, I kind of ignored that, and the second time it hurt a lot more. <laughs> I would assume so. I think how much time in between? I think it's like six months. Oh oh, we're cutting out. Oh boy, how professional am I? Right. Apart. Should you donate? Oh yeah, minimum of 56 days. Uh, after an automated res collection, let's wait. Okay.
Yeah. Yeah, I didn't wait 56 days. No, yes I did. <laughs> I don't remember. I don't remember. So what are you working on now? Um, right now I'm finishing coloring Boogeyman. Um, I'm trying to make it look like, oh, it has a mist thing or something. I don't know. I don't know. Um. So. Hmm. Hmm. Um, let me get on this. Let's fill that in. Oh, oh no. Oh. So I see you did draw. You did, you did draw feet. You said you just do triangles for feet. Oh, that that's sort of sometimes. Um, I don't know. It, it just depends on like, oh, am I, am I gonna? How am I feeling today? Am I like in a? Am I in a triangle mood? Am I in a sort of trying a little bit sort of mood? I don't know. It sort of fluctuates. Um, let's go back to this one and. Hmm. So, I've been trying to force myself to play the Kingdom Hearts 1.5 remix. Yeah. I want to play it really bad. But that requires me to actually put the CD in my PlayStation. <laughs> Like, when I say I want to play it really bad, like, I was going to do that today. But then I fell asleep. Oh. I drank a two-liter bottle of Pepsi by myself. Good job. In less than two days. <laughs> uh, Good so job. Like, so me... Me and a couple of my friends. Well, one of my friends is having a bad day, right? Mm -hmm. So, so uh, we decide, hey, let's go out, right? Mm -hmm. But uh, but I'm cheap, so I really didn't want to go out out anywhere, right? Mm -hmm. So what we do is we go to like KFC, right? <laughs> we go to KFC. We go to KFC, right? And we buy like a large order of potato wedges. <laughs> Oh. And we sit at the KFC and eat eat the potato wedges, right? Then we go across the street to the food line, buy a two liter bottle of Pepsi, okay? And we just sat in the back of the parking lot drinking Pepsi <laughs> out of a two liter, like straight out of the two liter and burping and raiding the burps. Good job. <laughs> yeah, that was a day. But they barely drank any Pepsi. So I just so... drank the whole thing by myself. <laughs> Good job, man. <laughs> two liters of Pepsi is a lot of Pepsi. Like, you don't realize how much two liters of Pepsi is when you drink it with, like, three or four other people, you know? But, like, but one person drinking two liters of Pepsi is a bad choice. Probably. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> like... Good lord. Okay, so looking at this bottle, because I'm a slob and don't throw anything away. Okay. Serving size is 12 fluid ounces, right? Servings per container, six. <sighs> so six times 100. Oh, and it's 150 calories per serving. Right, so six times 150. 900 calories. Okay. How many grams of sugar? 41 grams of sugar. <laughs> 246 grams of sugar consumed by one person. Good job. Yikes. Ah. Uh, uh, well, not... Let's say... Hmm. Let's say five servings, because I didn't drink the whole thing. So 41 times five. 
That's still 205 grams of sugar. Good lord, I'm gonna die. Well, I mean... I mean, the, the first time in a while that I've had, like... Well, I guess... Really the first time I've made my own cup of coffee, right? Um... So I thought it was actually hot chocolate, because I'm not really that much of a coffee drinker. Um, turns out it was peppermint, like, Dunkin' Donuts thing, right? Mmm. That's good coffee. Yeah. Actually, no, that's nasty coffee. <laughs> peppermint bark coffee is gross. <laughs> peppermint um, flavored things is good, but anyway, keep going. Mm -hmm. Um... So I decide, for my hot chocolate that I thought it was, um, I'm gonna put in... A candy cane, right? Because it's already like peppermint hot chocolate, but I'm like, I need some more uh, peppermint candy cane. Mm -hmm. So it turns out it's coffee. So I'm like, oh, well, it's coffee. I don't like bitter things. Let's put in like three big scoops of sugar, right? <laughs> and then I have this latte thing, right? Mm -hmm. So so let's let's put that on top. Um, so it's already peppermint bark whatever so that's some sugar i have like a whole bunch of just regular sugar i have a candy cane and then i have latte stuff probably not the healthiest cup of coffee but i did like that cup every time i've had it after of course it's been sort of not goodish but it's it's fine. It's fine. That one cup, it's pretty good. Uh, oh, oh, and this. Well, just I'm about to say something. Just one, one more thing. We we have a Keurig that we use it for. Um, it has a hot chocolate setting, so I don't know if that adds any sort of bad nutritional value. But I also had that on while making the coffee, so there's that too. Yeah, I. So I'm a coffee drinker now. But not during the day, hmm. or not in the morning, because I'm a backwards human and I do everything reverse. I drink coffee at night. Hmm. <sighs> that that was a really gross burp. Mm -hmm. um, but like, so my day really doesn't start till after I get home. Because during the day I do whatever I got to do during the day. But my main, my main, my main focus is my music. So that's what I'm working on. Mm -hmm. I do that at my house. So I'm up pretty much consistently to like one, two o'clock in the morning doing music stuff, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and you know, you're, you know, you're gonna be up late and you're getting kind of sleepy, so you just go and you make some coffee mm -hmm. at two in the morning. Ah. Uh, so I'm a, I, I consume a dumb amount of sugar. Like I'm, I'm starting to try and cut back, but like, not really, because mm -hmm. I'm, I'm the type of person to put sugar in my macaroni and cheese. Okay. Oh. I, eat, I eat that much sugar. It's gonna be a problem eventually. Mm -hmm. Eventually. But, yeah, eventually. You know, while I'm young, have fun, right? Yeah. Yeah. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger, except for diabetes. Yeah, that, that just makes you extra strong. <laughs> I mean, you, you get calluses on your thumbs. <laughs> if you get diabetes, you get calluses? No, because you have to do the little the thing that, like, nicks your oh, thumb. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> so it does make you stronger. I know what I need to do. <laughs> get diabetes. <laughs> Um, <laughs> oh boy. Oh gosh. So, like, I used to, I mean, okay, so one of the things I've kind of done to cut back on sugar is, I, so I have this water bottle, right? And I, I keep with me, because I'm a singer, um, I drink a lot of water. Well, but water gets tiring. So I started adding lemonade mix to my water. Oh no. And this is a 32 ounce water bottle. Oh God. And I like my lemonade sweet. I like my lemonade really sweet. Mm -hmm. So that's just more. Oh, oh, cut now. Okay, it's, it's a problem. So I cut off. I started. I started just going back to drinking straight water. Yeah. But still. But it's still a problem. Yeah, I'd say so. 
You know, I mean, I put sugar in just about everything, and uh, we're 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 gonna we're gonna cut that back since you know, yeah. uh, and you know, I dance too. So well, then it okay. So it's it's kind of like a bittersweet situation, cause like. Since I do so much music stuff, I'm really fit. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, what is it? I'm a, I play a bunch of instruments and I, I sing and I dance. So I, I I'm a pretty fit person. Yeah. You know. So I, I eat whatever I want. Yeah, yeah. But that's a problem because I eat whatever I want. So eventually, I, I don't think I'll ever stop oh. being, you know, dancing and stuff. But. Oh you know, yeah, because yeah. what the, the the next journey I'm about to embark on even more is, I'm not, I'm not gonna say what it is, you know, I was getting personalized stuff, but um, next journey I'm getting ready to embark on is gonna be even more physically demanding. Yeah. So I should be fine, right? Yeah. I mean, all but then again, I've also started eating a lot, make, a lot more McDonald's, and I hate McDonald's, but McDonald's is cheap. I see why McDonald's lasted so long because everyone knows what's in it and everyone knows you really shouldn't eat it at all. Don't eat McDonald's. Just McDonald's is not good for you. As I'm about to tell a story of how much McDonald's I eat. I've I've been for I guess it's about two weeks maybe. I've been going to McDonald's like twice a week. Maybe maybe like four I think I've been to McDonald's like four times in like two weeks once. Oh God! Which doesn't seem that much, but that's actually a lot of McDonald's. That's a ton of McDonald's. But th- th- that's just because like it's cheap, and you just drive to McDonald's and you pay like three bucks for a decent amount of food. Mm-hmm. I see why McDonald's. You know, bodybuilders eat McDonald's. Hmm. And I know it's like okay, McDonald's is bad, but if you're broke and you want to build muscle. Like, if you're really broke, and I say, I mean, really broke, and you want to, like, be a serious bodybuilder, eat McDonald's, because, like, a Big Mac has so many calories, it can actually sustain your muscles. But you have to work out really, really hard, because it's, like, how many calories is in a Big Mac? And it's, it's mainly saturated fats, I think. Hmm. Big Mac nutrition, nutritional facts. Yeah, it's 241 grams. Uh, is 540 calories, 29 grams of fat. Is it 10 grams? Is 50% of your daily recommended dose of saturated fat? 75 milligrams of cholesterol, 1,040 milligrams of salt, like of sodium. Like, don't eat. Stay away from McDonald's. But like, if you're se- like really serious about trying to put on a lot of muscle, and eat McDonald's like after a workout. But don't eat McDonald's at all. Mm-hmm. I know it's really hypocritical and convoluted and backwards, but if I think I explained it in a way you could kind of understand it. Mm-hmm. Name name this episode. Uh, Knight flexes how much he knows about everything because he's a nerd. Yeah. <laughs> oh oh, right now. Oh no. Knight just happens to know about too many things. Yeah. Um. Talks about bodybuilding and piercing and donating blood. Yeah. So what um, are you doing now? So one of the aesthetics from some of the art of Persona 5 um, that I really like. I'm going to try and pull one up. Let's see if I can get it. Oh, hold on. Um, okay, so I need a copy image. Then file a Nubia clipboard. Okay, so they do some of the shading, which generally you're not supposed to do, but they use a lot of blacks for the shading, um, and that gives it a lot more of a really cool stylistic sort of thing that I just love. Um, and this is actually like an endgame graphic that they use for like, uh, here, we knocked all the enemies down, so let's shoot them. Or something like that. Um, I can get into that another time. Um, it's Persona 5, like, while we're recording this, like, it comes out in two days, and I'm actually super excited. I've, I've, I've been holding Mac over while we're talking, because I'm super... I'm so excited, man. <laughs> you don't even know. But anyways, um... <laughs> 
Uh, but this should be coming out on the day Persona 5 releases, so we can get those nice uh, backwash views, if you if you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Um, nah, so they're using a lot of blacks for their shading here. In fact, I think it's only black. Um, so while on the first video I was using, like, we're going to shade using some colors and we're doing this sort of reach around sort of thing where we have to change blending modes it's sort of complicated not really um but here i'm just gonna use straight black so i'm not gonna be able to replicate that style because i mean I'm not exactly the best artist if you couldn't tell from this sort of not very well put together sort of thing but i love the style and just the style of Persona 5 in general, it looks gorgeous. And not like that, oh, this game, it looks super realistic, and it has the 1080p 60fps graphics, and you can see individual blades of grass moving sort of gorgeous. Like, it's stylistically gorgeous. Like, I am super excited. I love games like that. <laughs> That's probably one of the reasons, like why I'm just super excited for this because like people are loving like uh well I would say Zelda Breath of the Wild wild but that also has its own sort of style yeah I love the art style from that yeah yeah um, like I've, I've only seen pictures of it I haven't played any of it or anything because I'm we'll talk about that after I'm talking about my weird relationship with Zelda oh yeah. I've got to clean this water bottle it's nasty um, okay yeah yeah um I guess like Okay, so Final Fantasy 15, right? Um, I got that over Christmas, and I was like, I don't actually like this. And part of it was just like, I'm not really into the sort of style of game it's going for, because it feels like an MMO. And I, I'm not the most fond of MMOs. I mean, I've played my share. Like, if <laughs> we used to play Fusion Fall at Cartoon Network... Uh, yeah, MMO thing. We made our Skypes, bro. Yeah. God. Yeah. But, like, I loved that game. But that's because... I don't know. It's a fall. Probably just because I was a... I was a kid, and it was cool. And I think they're actually... Um, some fans of it are trying to bring it back on Steam, like their own little version, which... I don't know, maybe we'll play, because I fucking loved that game. Um, but nah, so... Other than that specific instance, I'm not super fond of MMOs. But another thing about it is the graphics in it, they look good. But it's not a style that, I'll, that I like. Um, I'd bring up another picture, but I'm kind of running out of time here. And I want to finish at least these flat colors before we end this episode. We'll probably have to do another one. Um, thought I'd try to finish this one, but don't really have the how, time. How long is the this video so far? Um, let me check. Uh, almost, it's almost 45 minutes, so it's decent. Oh. Yeah. Should uh, probably cut it up into smaller pieces, but anyways, whatever. Maybe, I don't know. Um, but nah, so I don't like its super realistic look, though. I'll grant that the only reason I wanted to play it was because... Hey, this is almost Kingdom Hearts combat. Let's... That'll be cool. And it, it, it wasn't. Um, no, isn't it really... Com I'm not going to say complex, but different. Uh, it's different. Um, it, it's re it's, is it regular Final Fantasy? Just by looking at pictures. No, 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 no. It's like action. It's an action RPG. So... No, well, okay. Have you played the new, newer Final Fantasy games, though? Oh, um... Like, the newer Final not. Fantasy... Actually, well, no. Because Kingdom Kingdom Hearts Com Combat is Final Fantasy Combat. I forgot they based the... Well, so how's that? Well, I'll just look at it later, rather yeah, than trying to explain yeah. it. Um... But nah, I don't know. I just... And then there's one thing that just sort of irks me about a lot of the... Uh, my pen thing just came up. Um about a lot of newer graphics sort of things. Um, I don't like how the hair looks. I don't know why, but 
have you seen the the last guardian the yeah yeah the hair on the monster thing that's your companion through that i hate it it just looks so weird i don't know why i can't pinpoint an exact reason see, you don't you don't like the pseudo hyper realistic hair look because that's what it is i mean like yeah i like the way it looks where it's like you can tell it's cgi but it's so let's call it detailed or yeah detailed cgi that it looks like it's real i guess i don't know that's the way i kind of describe it mm -hmm. i don't know but then again i'm not an artist and i don't really i don't really yeah, well not I yeah i don't really again i don't really know myself um it's just something about the way that it's rendered it just it looks so weird and maybe it's just something that's like oh this is just a product of the time and it's just because um that's i don't know i don't know how to explain it it just it looks super weird to me and i just don't like it <laughs> um but maybe yeah, i, I see just what you're talking about. looking at pictures now yeah um so and then again i just i find uh the game's boring final fantasy 15 that is so i guess the point i'm trying to make is i love games that they have s like a, a lot of style in their art like it's unique to it but not unique for no reason so like like if i pull back up that picture um like, I don't know how to explain it. I just love the way this looks. Um, and the way it's using the blacks I, instead I of... Yeah, like, okay, maybe it looks like a comic book. And, like, not just because of this. That's like a comic book shading sort of thing, sort of. But the way it's colored, it, it looks like, like, a, like a comic, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, like some sort of comic. I don't know a specific sort of comic I could compare it to, but it just it just sort of has a cool sort of look. Um, so I don't know. Um, let me. I think that is a there. good place to actually call it. Yeah. Cause yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause you said you wanted to end off the video right around here, and yeah. that yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, just give me, just give me a second. I gotta finish just a, a tiny bit. Just, just, just a little, little, little old tiny sort of bit. Just, just a little. Don't even worry about it. It's fine. Just, just did this last time too. It's fine. Don't even worry about it. No, oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, everything's going slow again. Just, just. <laughs> Just come on. I can do a line. You know what? It's fine. There we go. Um, there we go. Yeah, so there are the flats, and I don't know if I'll leave this as the shading for now or if I'll do some extra little shading later. Um, but yeah, here's this for now. So I guess I'll uh, we'll be seeing you. Well, I was going to do my little thing I'd do at the end of all my regular videos, but I think I just remembered that I don't actually do that for these ones. I don't know. See, see you guys later. Bye. Bye.